Alright, so I've made my shield uh, with six strips of the foam. Um, this is about the size that I want. If you are going for more of a Viking size shield, you can obviously add a few more times around. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to reinforce the shield with two more layer of foam, one on each side. And the way we're going to do that is um, I'm going to put my shield on a piece of foam here. I traced out the uh, side. It's not going to be perfectly rounded. Uh, you'll notice here that I actually cut slantwise with my razor, um, making it kind of a, a better transition instead of just ending in a corner. Um, so I have one that needs to be cut and I have cut out one already. And what we're going to basically do is we're going to put dap on this side and dap on this side and reinforce the shield like so. And we're going to do it to the other side as well. And after we do that, the shape of the shield will be pretty much done. All right, so I've glued down both sides of the shield. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and glue one more layer around the shield to make a nice even edge. Um, if you measure the size of the shield that you have, it's a little bit less than 2.5 inches, so measure carefully. Um, you also want to make sure you calculate the circumference of your shield. Um, for me, that's about 50, 51 inches. Um, I put glue on the outside of the shield and I put glue on the strip of foam here. So what I'm going to do, I'm simply matching up the edges and putting on the strip. Alright, so that's a pretty good fit. So now we have our shield uh, shape pretty much done. This is a nice size and uh, pretty good for thickness. If you want, you can always bulk it up a little bit more with more layers. Uh, but just remember that at the very end, you want to put one more strip at the very end to make sure you have that nice clean uh, edge. So once we get to this point, we want to take a little break, let everything that we've done dry up, maybe uh, weight it down a little bit, put some paperweights on the shield so that the insides gets glued completely before we uh, continue with our project. So give about 24 hours and then we'll return to our project to do the rest. So now that we waited for about 24 hours, it is time to continue building our shield. So right now we have a pretty basic uh, flat round shield so now it's up to our creativity to uh, make it look better and embellish it. Um, we could just have a boring old shield like this or we can make it look like the actual thing. If you look on uh, pictures of any Viking shields that you see, they're mostly made out of wood with a metallic rim uh, around on the outside. So that's what we're going to simulate with foam. So what we're doing is uh, cut out a thin piece of foam that is one inch wide and the length of it is determined by the circumference of your shield. So my shield is 16 inches in diameter so if you calculate the circumference do a little grade school math uh, it comes out to be about 51 inches. It's better to be longer than shorter because if you're too long you can always cut off some but if you're too short then it's not going to look quite as good and it's going to be difficult to, uh, to fix up. So what we're doing is I'm going to go ahead and lay the foam like so along the edge and I'm going to curve it as I glue it. Uh, keep in mind this is not the way your foam likes to bend so you really have to watch what you're doing because otherwise the foam would like to bunch up on you. But what I'm doing right now is I'm basically making a rim which after we paint, it will look like metal, or you can paint it a metal, a metal color. And we'll see how I did with the, uh, with the distance here. All right, so I did pretty good. Uh, I was actually a little bit longer than, uh, than expected, 
but that's okay though. Um, foam can be compressed and stretched, so it actually looks fine. So now we have this rim glued down, like so. And what we're going to do is we're going to embellish the shield. Here, we're going to need some fun, uh, craft foam. Craft foam you can get from any craft store. They come in a very thin sheet like this. They made out of foam. You can use this to make little embellishments. So now that I have this ring of, I'm going to say metal, on the outside of the shield, um, it's time to embellish it some more by adding some uh, nail pieces. So after you paint it, it looks like it was metal that was hammered onto the shield. The way I do that is I trace out eight of uh, these foam shaped using pennies. They're the size of pennies. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue them uh, in these positions. So I'm going to glue them in a 12 o'clock position, 9 o'clock position, 3 and a 6, like so. And I'm going to glue pieces in between. Something like that. So in the, what to do about the center of the shield. Now, if you look at pictures of Viking shields, you'll normally see a spherical boss uh, made out of just metal. To do that, you can actually cut up half of a Nerf basketball and then just keep half of the sphere as the, uh, as the boss in the center of the shield. I don't have a Nerf basketball uh, right now, um, nor is that what I'm trying to do. What you can do, another option, is you can just cut up a circular, sh um, a circular foam, put that as a center, and that will suffice as well. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and cut up a crest. So again, I'm going to get my sheet of craft foam. I'm going to draw what I want to have in the center. Uh, you can have a dragon. You can have uh, you can have a hand mark. You can have teeth. Anything, basically, just anything to put your crest on the shield and glue it on the shield. So we'll get started on doing that. Let's do some multitask here. We're going to go ahead and get started on making the handle of the shield. Remember when I asked you guys to make eight pieces of these two by three rectangular pieces and uh, two of them do glue together? Well, that's part of the handle. And I'm going to show you what we have to do. So you take two of the pieces that have been doubly glued together. Uh, we're going to make a little cut out of them, about two inches. Um, we're going to make a little slot here for our, our handle which I'm actually using a PVC pipe for. So I'm going to show you what we're doing. So if this is your shield handle, where your hand is, um, we're basically going to construct a little bit of a, a tray. So we're taking one of the two by threes, we're putting this above it, and uh, we're gluing the, the handle like this, and we're putting another piece on top like that. We're sandwiching the pole in the center. So same thing with this. Cut out a little, uh, a little bit of a uh, an indentation. Uh, the measurement is dependent on where your hand is going to be, so I won't get into that too much right now. But for me, this is about two inches. So again, I am going to glue this on top like so. I'm going to glue my rod inside it and I'm going to put this like so so that way you'll see this has a little handle that you can glue onto your shield where your hands going to be so that way you can hold onto the shield all right so I should have something that looks like this for the handle uh, it's a half an inch PVC pipe it's with it sandwiched between four layers of foam so I'm gonna put this aside for now and remember the other piece that we glued together, the uh, piece with the three foams glued on top? What we're going to do is cut out four pieces of right triangles. The dimension of these triangles is not as important, um, but for now I'm making mine three inches tall by an inch and a half. Okay. So there's four pieces of these right triangles. And what I'm doing with these uh, is I'm going to go ahead and glue them to the side of my little piece here that acts as a uh, support for my handle. So I'm gonna glue all four of them 
like so. Okay, so again, the dimension doesn't really matter as much. This is just to uh, this is just to support my handle so that it doesn't wobble too much when it's on my shield. All right, so I got it glued. Um, so you'll see our our handle here. It's got four pieces of these right triangles holding it together and uh, bracing it so it doesn't wiggle. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put a grip on this handle. Uh, we're doing this now and not later because after we glue it on the shield it would be more difficult to do it. So to do that I put double sided tape on the PVC pipe itself all around it and I'm taking a nylon uh, rope and I'm simply going to wrap this up like so. do is we're going to cover this with cloth tape. Um, cloth tape could be obtained from sporting stores. Uh, they're kind of what you use for hockey sticks. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do a couple times around with this cloth tape to make your grip a little bit more comfortable to use. Here you see I drew out a couple of different shapes. Um, this is for my handle. So what I'm going to do is uh, I've already put glue on the handle uh, after I wrapped it in the uh, tape and I'm going to simply just glue it like so. Now this next part here um, I saved room for a open cell phone as cushion for my arm. So I've glued it and uh, I am going to simply slot that in there like so. Now you have a nice cushion for your arm so that when you hold on to the shield um, you feel comfortable. Alright, so finally we're going to work on the straps. I won't go into too much detail because there's a lot of different ways to make a strap. Uh, I took a old worn down luggage, I cut up the strap, and I attached some velcro pieces. Um, the, the spiky velcro on one side and the fuzzy velcro on the other side. And what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to glue them onto the shield like so, and that will form a nice little strap here. Um, we're actually going to leave our shield to dry for 48 hours because that's the time it takes um, for the glue to get to a point where it won't be removed by the plastic dip. The next step of our tutorial is going to be painting on the plastic dip and if the glue is not completely dry it's going to start taking off little details such as the nail pieces, the, uh, the wolf's head, and also even your grip as well. So we want to just let your shield set for 48 hours, that's two days, uh, before we continue putting on the next part. The plastic dip part is the fun part because that's when everything comes together and that's when you start painting it for the final product.